Imagine a world of money, success, and parties. This is the Roaring Twenties. The 1920s was a time of extravagance. The stock market was soaring, making millionaires by the thousands. A Ford Model T could be found in every driveway. Babe Ruth, the home run king, made the Yankees the most recognizable team in baseball. The smooth sounds of Louis Armstrong's trumpet could be heard in the fiery tunes known as jazz. Charles Lindbergh's persistence led him to successfully be the first person to fly across the Atlantic Ocean without stopping. Americans were on top of the world. And now, imagine a world of hunger, poverty, and loss. This is the Great Depression. Following World War I, people began investing in businesses that were doing well. This caused the price of stock to go up. People thought they could make money by buying stocks and selling them at a higher price. Eventually, people began buying stocks on credit. In 1929, stock prices began to fall. Everyone rushed to sell. With so many wanting to sell their stocks, the prices continued to plummet. Lives changed drastically. Businesses closed. Many people were without jobs. Some people sold apples on the street for five cents to earn money. Families had little food to eat. Soup kitchens and bread lines were common sights. Meat became a luxury, as did eating out at a restaurant. Oftentimes, two or more families would crowd into one apartment, splitting the rent. Electric bills were too high for some people to pay, leading people to use kerosene lamps for light and warmth. The drought in the Great Plains did not help matters. The dry soil from Texas to Nebraska turned into dust. Powerful winds blew, causing thick, dark clouds of dust that sometimes lasted for days. The drought made farming impossible, which only increased the need for food. Now imagine a world of promise, hope, and optimism. This is the New Deal. Franklin Delano Roosevelt was elected as the 32nd President of the United States. In his campaign, he promised the American people a New Deal that would end the crisis. Crippled by polio and unable to walk without the use of iron braces, Roosevelt knew firsthand what it was like to go through tough times. The New Deal focused on three major goals, relief, recovery, and reform. Relief efforts helped feed and house poor Americans. Recovery efforts helped to create new jobs by building roads, schools, bridges, and parks. Reform efforts helped restructure America's financial system to prevent another depression. While FDR's New Deal did not completely restore the country to the way it was before the Great Depression, it did help the nation get back on its feet. Imagine a world of expectations, caution, and comfort. As we approach the next decade, where will America go from here?